Hi Luke, welcome to Lockroom and welcome everyone to the 24th episode of the Peer Tree Podcast. Hey Sandy, thanks for having me over. You're welcome, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Yeah. I you look great in your uh, hat. My hat, this is the only thing I've put on today. I have had these clothes on for a week, but I love the hat. It was one of the items. Yes. But somebody had sent me it. Actually, I've got, I think I get three in the mail this morning because I've just got such lovely friends. Cool. cool. They're cute. They're really cute items. What do you think of my outfit today? Yeah, I was going to say something. You look quite... <laughs> You look really, I don't know, like obviously you look superhero-ish, but you look really bright for it, I don't know. There's, blue, I've got the blue zap and suit on. And, uh, uh, and it's very, very shiny and reflecting the sun, and I've got the blue jockey helmet on. The blue zap suit was a gift from Cherry, and the jockey's helmet was like one of those things where, I think it was Poppy gave it to me, and she's like, oh, I hear you love these. <laughs> <laughs> or did she not see it match your outfit? That's what I usually no. get happy. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, she did, that. That was it. Yeah, I was I was wearing some overalls, I think, and she gave it to me and said it oh, would right. match. Oh right, because I'm just saying because it does match your outfit, but when I get them, it, it never does. matches my outfit. No, yeah, it wasn't this one I was wearing that she when she oh, gave right. it to me. So how's your week been? Yeah, it's been good. Thanks. Yeah. Um. I wanted to start off today's episode by just having a bit of a moment to appreciate New Horizons Uh, because we had the update announcement this week and found out about some of the events from last year coming back and some cool new items coming into the game. Yeah, I just thought it would be a nice time to just express how amazing New Horizons has been over the last year and how much I love it. Yeah, I think you're right. I think there's been a lot of negativity, but I've only got nothing but love for it. It's really cool. And I've even brought my Rover's suitcase because I'm quite excited to be doing that update again. I know that one was the same from last year, but I'm I'm really excited excited by that as well, Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Rover's suitcase, it was a cool reward for that. So the May Day celebrations have started already, even though it's only the 29th of April today. But they're going on for the next week. I'm really looking forward to getting out to the Mays Island again. Because I'm, ex- <laughs> I'm excited about it too. Yeah. But I'm not going to do it now. I haven't, I haven't done it today. I never had enough time and I want to spend some time doing it and I'll probably do it with my three characters. So I thought it was really fun. Uh, you're what? Three characters? Yeah. Oh, you have to... Oh, yeah, of course you have a third I character. I thought you built yourself another house <laughs> no, then no, for a minute. No, I haven't built myself another house. I don't think I've got... Well, I have got plenty of room, but I don't know. I've not got... I need to really do my own house first before I think about decorating another house. Oh, forget about that. I've neglected my house since, like, the first month. And I'm on house number five now. Yeah, but your house number <laughs> five looks... Great. From what I've seen so far. Uh, I'm loving it, yeah. I can't wait to uh, share some pictures and stuff with you. So what else are you looking forward to about the update? Yeah, it looks amazing. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting back into the museum for the Museum Day celebrations. Because uh, this year you're going to get stamps for going into the art gallery too. And just any excuse to go into the museum is just the most beautifully designed place yeah. in the game, I think. I think I like going to the museum, but I only ever go when I'm looking for someone. I never just think, oh, I'm just going to go to the museum. But then when I do go in it, when I'm looking for someone to gift them, I'm like, oh, why do I not come here more often? Because it's just nice and peaceful to It's magical, around, isn't it? Um, and it is really, really, really well done. The music, the lighting, the camera angles, it's just it's such a joy to be in there. But you're right, I never go in there either, which is why I'm really looking forward to the stamps coming back. Um, Just to give you an excuse to go in, really. And we've got wedding season coming up as well, which I didn't do a lot of last year, but there were some really cute items that we got last year. I loved the bench. Yeah, I loved the items, definitely. I just thought it was a wee bit repetitive. I get quite bored of it. 
but I did like getting the new items, so I'm not going to complain too much about it, but you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But I spent so long in a couple of days, like, setting it up perfect, not realising I could just chuck a lot of furniture in and still get cheat, the, same, yeah. <laughs> the same reward, yeah. so, but... It's good because I obviously went to Harves as well and then it gave me another excuse to go to Harves because sometimes I'd use that as an yeah. excuse just to get my villagers in. I was already there so I might as well get some some pictures and the other things. And it's nice that they are bringing it back but with different items. And they've brought in a load of cool new items this year as well which is really good. I just am amazed that we just keep getting more and more stuff opening up and I love, it's quite a slow drip feed of things coming in but it's perfect for me it's just just the right timing to kind of pique my interest if I'm getting a little bit bored with the current offerings yeah it was just amazing to see how much excitement it caused in our little discord group so if any of our uh, listeners or watchers don't know we have a little discord group where we all hang out and just <laughs> chat about animal crossing all day long yeah get uh, excited about all these things yep yeah anybody watching or listening is very welcome to come and join us it's a lovely welcoming inclusive group and um, we always post the invite link in our youtube videos and on our podcast notes uh, yeah so i just thought it was lovely to see how the group reacted so positively to all the new stuff and got really excited with and all sent each other those children's hats that you're wearing and the amazing fish flags as well. Uh, oh, yeah, they are so cool, but they're so big. I wanted to put one in the set, but it's yeah. so big. Yeah, they're huge. I've put one up today. But they are nice. I put mine's on the, the pier just now. Oh, that's a great idea. Just because it's, I wanted to put it next to the crab shack, but it was blocking too much, like, like room to move, and I'm not. I hate like having to sidestep and things, so I just put it on the mm. the pier because it's empty and I think it's quite. I can imagine it being quite windy there because it. I love how they flutter in the, yeah. the wind. Is there enough space for you to walk alongside it? Yeah, so it's. I think oh, it's too. Oh, that's great! I like, might what, steal that idea. Too. So, yeah, better in. So as a cool item. I haven't quite finished my pier from when I was decorating down there before, so oh, yeah, I might pinch that idea. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I was saying about I was uh, the cheese. I think the cheese item's quite funny. That's coming. That's that's reasonably local to me. The uh, Gloucester cheese rolling event. Yeah, I don't. I think people know how like it's a real like thing. I probably didn't realise the significance of, of it. I'm not near it, but I've, I've I've heard about it. You've seen it, yeah. I think they tried to ban yeah. it for health and safety reasons. Uh, a few a few times, but oh. I think it still happens. Illegal, but, yeah, illegal cheese rolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, they showed some cute items in the uh, official Nintendo like blog post about it with the, the cheese, and they've got some cool stuff coming up for Mother's and Father's Day as well in May and June. And I think we all knew it was going to happen, and I, I think, but the the bug and the fish tournaments happening again the, for the rest of the year, that's really cool because they're such a nice like social event, I think. Yeah, but they don't give you any more stuff. I'm going to be a wee negative nanny, but like, but they don't give us new items, do they? They don't. So apart from being um, like having a competitive reason and a social reason, there's not really any reason to do it but that's that's reason enough for me actually and do you know what I'm going to need to do the bug ones because last year I gave all my villagers the spider door plate and then obviously they've moved on because you know what I like to ship them out after a while um, so I'm going to need to get some newer spider door plates so I'm going to need to do some bug tournaments for Halloween time so what have you been up to on your island this week on my island, not a lot. I've had hardly any playtime this week, um, so it has been just getting on to deliver some gifts. Although, on Monday, so I time travelled back to Sunday on the Monday because it was my partner's birthday and he's characters on the island, so I'd done his birthday. Oh, I nice. Did, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't do it last year. 
and it was really nice because I think I actually did go in on the Sunday night, uh, this Saturday night, and changed an a nice outfit because I learned from my birthday, yeah. like yeah. take you straight out. And I think I was there, I still had the festival like items on. <laughs> that was the last time I really changed uh, the other character. So I had a nice shirt on, um, and then Tabby picked me up. I was so jealous because he had Tabby, Coco, and Graham at his party. Oh, and they're obviously lovely. Tabby and Coco is my favourites now, so that was nice. That's cool. Got, got some pics of them. And then, apart from a couple of villager interactions, the only other big thing that has happened is I got a campsite villager visitor. Oh, yeah. Who was, I know I said I was excited about this, and you're probably not going to be like, what, you're excited about that? But I was excited to get Odie. Obviously, oh. she was like a new character last year. Um, but I just love her look. She just reminds me of like a little fox, and my, she looks like my dog. My dog looks like a little fox, so I just really Aww. wanted her. Odie's um, great, yeah. Yeah, so she's not usually my typical style. I usually like the weird looking ones, the unwanted ones, and obviously Odie was a hot hot item at one time. Um, and she's another Pepe, and she happens to be next door to Tabby now, so... I think it's going to start a band. Possibly, although she did introduce herself as being the first pop star in Locker Rooms. I don't know if how Tabby <laughs> oh, no. feel about that. Oh, Tabby's a rock star, I think. Do you, yeah, do you think? she is a rock star. Yeah. Well, she's like, no, Tabby's like a cool indie, like indie star, I reckon. Yeah. I've not seen her in her house because this is the first day, proper day she's been here. I've not visited her, visited her yet. Her house is cool. I've just seen her out and about. So I've not been able to get in her house. But she has got like a beach wall and like a, a flower patterned wood floor. Mm. So. I have visited Odie before, but I can't really remember what her house was like inside. Apart from the beach wall, I remember that. Yeah, you might have visited her at mine, because I had her really early on. I think she was uh, she was one of my first ten, because she had the starter house there. Oh, did she? That was one of the reasons I wasn't too bothered about letting her go. She's really cool. I really liked her. I felt a little bit sorry for her not having her oh, right like, house. proper house. Yeah. Although I did feel a wee bit bad about inviting her because I had to try a couple of times to get her and she kept picking like villagers that don't have their photos yet and then she picked Marty and because I can't give Marty to anyone and I've got his amiable so I just said yes. I can always, I've not got his photo yet but I can always bring him back and I really just wanted him for his birthday as well, just using him. Um, so Marty's gone for the time being. So Marty's gone for the time being. I definitely will because I want I want his picture, but I did not I didn't want to say no to her. And she's not. Yeah. I don't think anybody's got her at the minute, so I don't think I've got any chance of getting her off a anybody. Like she was on Bombay for a while. Her. Yeah. Because she's got the perfect Bombay. Oh, uh, she's like Bombay's a tropical for that. paradise. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, but that's okay. Marty's just hanging out at Brewster's coffee shop with all the other voided villagers yeah. until uh, <laughs> until you want to bring him back. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to give give him away anyway, so I don't I didn't really yeah. feel too bad because he was going to go to the void either way. So at least I'm bringing him back, <laughs> giving him another try. I'm a little bit worried that nobody's going to want freckles because she's in boxes today. Oh no! Did she and ask I've been to trying. Leave? Or did you get a Yeah, no, she has to leave or, this morning. Oh, she has to leave, all right. So you've not got a, a campsite villager this, a visitor this week, no? No, no, I haven't got anyone lined up. Don't know what, I guess I'm going to do a bit of island hopping if I have the time. Oh, nice. But I, I love Freckles, she's amazing. And I'm beginning to get a little bit worried that nobody's chosen. I've been posting have it. Have you put it up online? Like other yeah, Discord, yeah, so. she's she's been listed on Nookazon and uh, Belltree forums and all of our discords and everything. Mm. If you're that worried, you could hang off for another day and like just time travel back just to make sure she's not. You can keep. Her oh, that's boxes. a good idea. I've some. I've had to do that a couple of times. I did think about maybe asking her to stay, but then I don't. I don't know. Just wouldn't ever get rid of any villagers. Yeah. With that like that. I do love freckles uh, though. Um but maybe yeah, maybe it's just time for her to go. But 
I would really like to find her a nice home. I think you should take someone from the voids. Do you reckon? I think you should gamble, yeah. Take a gamble? Yep. I will consider it. <laughs> she was really cool. Before she um, left, she started teaching Butch all about selfies or uh, self-portraits, as he called them. He's like, oh, why, yeah. are you, why are you all taking <laughs> self-portraits these days? And she's like, what, <laughs> selfies? <laughs> yeah, so she taught him all about that, and he had this amazing expression. He was just, like, steaming at her and, like, his face going all red and smoke coming out of his ears. Yeah. Uh, I love the the crankies. I think I, I love crankies with anybody, but I love them with the papies because it is, it's like granddads and like teenagers yeah talking. I don't think I've witnessed any chats this week between the villagers although Coco did come up and tell me um, she had a new nickname for me and I just let them call me whatever anyway because I think I told you before I yeah what she came up for with for some reason but she yeah. came up with best, she came up with bestie Ah. so I just of course I said I for that. Of course. And what else? Oh, oh yeah, I, what I seen. I tried. I, the video wasn't as good as I planned because I was a bit slow. But takes I seen takes jumping on the whoopee cushion, so it made the noise. It was great. I'm so easily amused. Amazing. That was the highlight of my week. I think. <laughs> I stumbled upon Cherry having a nap outside Isabel's house, and. Uh, I did the same thing. I was just too slow getting the camera out. But she did that little thing where she like woke up with a start and did the oh, little yeah. amazed reaction. Like, where am I? I was I asleep? But then she just stood up and started having a little dance. Yeah. I love how you just said stumbled across. There's no denying. You've probably been stalking her because I think you've got a wee love for Sherry now. She is cute. She's becoming a fast favourite. Yeah, she really is. She also gave me a, uh, some pleather shorts. And she sent me them in the post, actually. <laughs> you know, the ones with all the, like, the little studs on? Yep. yep. Yeah. It's like, what the... What? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Well, I'm surprised you haven't got them on today. Well, they wouldn't go with the zap suit. It was yeah. one or the other. All right. A but, barrel yeah, actually do... sent me a nice gift this week. Did he? Was yeah, it all sticky? Yeah. No, it wasn't actually. He he oh. wrote something. He wrote something about like, you know how it gets like dark and boring when the sun goes down. But what yeah. if everything didn't get dark and boring? And inside was a rocket lamp, which I thought was really nice. So oh. I have to put the rocket lamp out when it gets the sun goes down, and then it's not dark and it's not boring. But that was That's quite cute. nice. But then Benji had sent us a a letter the next day, and it was like, oh, I find something hard, like a rock under my bed. I didn't think it was my candy, but if it is, like the toffee bags, send me it back. And it yeah. was a skull, <laughs> like you know the, is it yeah. the ostrilopith, I think it was something that like the, yeah, the skull that I use at Halloween for decoration, basically. Um, he sent me that, and he found that under his bed. Yeah, so that's, that's quite a bit worrying. worrying. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had any photos this week. I know all my villagers are kind of new, so I'm not expecting any, but I'm still a bit gutted. Well, I got some superstar photos this week. I got Toby's last weekend. Oh, nice. That was really cool. And I had a premonition, like, just as I was, like, picking his present, I was like, he's going to give me his photo. And he did. And uh, I got Raymond's photo yesterday. Oh, nice, Raymond's. Oh, he is a superstar at one point in time. Well, Toby and Raymond both think they are the Ray LB superstars at the moment. Raymond's fact, quite new, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was quite quite quick for a, for a present. Maybe it's because we bonded over uh, being in a band together because Raymond's decided that uh, I... I'm going to be in his band, <laughs> which are called, I don't know where he came up with this terrible name, they're called Cheeky Revolution. Cheeky 
I'm not I'm not keen on the name, but uh, <laughs> he's he's you know he's the branding expert, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that to him. Yes, yeah, so I think he came up to me and he said, "Oh, I know what it was." He said, "Have you ever thought about what you might do in the future?" And I was like, uh, what? "He said, you know, if our pear waffle stand doesn't work out, what do you want to do?" So I picked musician from this list, and he was like. Great, now you can be in my band. We're called Cheeky Revolution. <laughs> Hopefully you can get Cherry to play bass. She was talking about playing bass this week. Oh, I she she is. She's a rock star. I think we could pull it off. She has musical instruments in her house, doesn't she? Does she? Does she? Or does she not? No. I just, I, I just got a feeling there. I thought she had a guitar or something in. Maybe you should send her a bass as a gift. Yeah. Do you know what? I gave Shari an electric guitar for her ber- first birthday on Rayalby last year. Then I gave her an amp the next day. But I haven't seen those things in her house. And that's weird because they're quite small. It's not like they're like big items. I think they're She put them out at the time. I haven't seen them in a house for ages. What have you gifted her after? Have you gifted her clothes? Or has it just been fruit you've gifted her after? Because, you know, I think they go through that cycle. No, I've, yeah, I've, yeah, I guess I've gifted her things. I've just pushed that out. I have been really enjoying having the two sister Lees on, on the island this week. Although I quite often play early in the morning for a little bit. And they're just never up. Oh, so yeah, lazy. Late, nights, yeah, late mornings. I think there was one morning where they were both up for some reason. Like one of them was crafting and the other one was outdoors. But it's quite unusual to see them. In fact, I think Shari was asking Lolly how on earth she got up so early in the mornings. Lolly was just like, just go to bed earlier. It's not hard. But <laughs> Shari was like, nah. <laughs> nah. I'm not going to do that. Hey, she, um, so Shari lost her diary this week. And I've never seen this before, but I mean, I'm going to admit like how, how bad a resident representative I am now. She came up to me and said, have you found, have you seen the diary lying around? I've lost it. And I said, no. And then, immediately just forgot all about it and went about my business for the rest of the day and didn't look for it or anything. And then the next day she was like, still looking for that diary. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, oh no, I really intended to go off and try and find that for you, Sherry. I'm really sorry. I just totally forgot. So I went off and looked for it, but I didn't realise it happened over two days. I didn't know that either. I thought once you, I, forget, yeah. I usually grab it and then I forget to find somebody and I've usually got it in my pocket the next day and it's like, what was this again? Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely pinched a few items like by leaving them for a day or two, but I wouldn't have kept Shari's. Not that she'd asked me so nicely. I felt terrible for forgetting. It took me ages to find it though. It was hidden up in the little secret reading nook behind the library oh how convenient that was like where it should be she's obviously been making you see that little nook you've got it it looked perfect there and i was like oh, if i just left it here it's so in keeping it's great but i couldn't do it felt too bad so any other gossip from your town this week no not a thing i don't think i noticed that cool path when oh, I was flying yeah, that, in. I did, I started that, I think, on Monday night. I think that was the longest I got to play. Um, but I haven't been able to expand it. Or I'm not quite sure about it, but I think it might just be my placement of it rather than the, the design itself, because it looks amazing. And, it does, it looks and great. When they, a friend had shared it, the pictures uh, on Twitter were really nice of the creators um, set up. So I think I'll just need to have a... When I get time to play around with it, try and give it another another shot. But there's so many pieces. There's like 23 pieces. 
And I think if you'd asked me, well, a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago, I'm like, nope, I'm not definitely not giving up on that amount of species. But those extra custom design yeah. slots have come in handy. It looked great on the flyover. Oh, be nice. Hopefully, I would, I'm going to have to replace. I don't think it matches. Um, I've got the red brick. Usually, I would have the red brick uh, path down coming out the airport and around up to resident services and things. But I think I'll replace it with that because I did want to keep that area kind of natural with trees and I think that's where it looks best. Mm. And just keep the the custom, the island designer paths to the resident areas. Mm. But we'll see. I love the 3D look of it. Yeah, it's like the re pat platform, yeah. It doesn't have certain parts of it that are not the same as the, you know, the efficient, the kind of the path they call it, um, which is the one that I've got on my island. See, I wouldn't be able to do a like oh, a matching like a swap, thing, like a swap. So I'd have them. to, yeah. So I'd ha if I wanted to change over, there'd be some places I couldn't put it because it doesn't have the thinnest bits, ah, which would mean okay. I'd have to go and like kick all of my path away. And do right. it all from scratch, but I do really like it. I might, I might consider yeah. a couple of little I, areas of it. But like you say, it's a lot of uh, slots. Yeah, I think uh, when I'm onto the Twitter, like the original creator of it, they had said that they'd only added the design patterns of the most used parts of it. They were looking to add more in the future, so they might, oh, they might add a single bit or. Because I'm having a problem now with coming straight out the airport. I was hoping to have some sort of step. See, because it is raised, I think it's I can't, I can't have. It just looks a bit silly. It doesn't. It's not as clean as yeah, I'd it like. It just ends, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I would really like some steps or something. And there is, I think there is steps in that. But again, it doesn't join on. Yeah, I'll need. I'll need to have a look when I've got time. I'll have mm. a play about with it because I do really like it. I like it until everybody's got it and then I'm like, nah, that's just another path. <laughs> yeah. I have spent a small fortune this week on decking out my arcade. But it's coming together really well. Yeah, it looks amazing. I have to say a huge thank you to all of my friends that have sent me arcade machines, gun machines, um, all the different bits and pieces for the arcade because I definitely couldn't do it without some help those machines are expensive like oh 60, yeah the arcade ones 60,000 yeah. bells each and then that's on top of your like mortgage as well you'd have had to be paying that you're going to be turning up yeah, this weekend yeah I'm going to get in on the turnip game this weekend because my uh, I've been paying for it I've been like loaning out the money but I'm down to Two million bells left in my bank account, which is the like the lowest it's been for like nine or ten months, I think. So I'm getting a little worried, but I think it's worth it. I've been really enjoying it. I love it. Um, we've got a room for the pinball machines. There's a room with like the arcade fighting machines, one with the combat machines. Upstairs is going to be like uh, all the going to have all the brake tappers up there, right? Um, and it's got this like, yeah, it's going to be like the gambling den, I guess. You know, <laughs> I kind of feel like it's maybe a bit immoral to put a gambling den up in my arcade. But The amusements that you were talking about last week, that was a kind of bit of gambling, even though it was only your coppers, your two pence and your one pences, but it was a gamble. Yeah, that's true. And they, the ones that we used to go and used to have the like one arm bandit machines as well. Yep. Where you'd get the noughts and crosses. Yeah, that's like a slot, uh, that's Las Vegas slot machines. Yeah. I'm sure I used to um, put 10 peas in them. Yeah. Be a bit of fun. One of the rooms I was going to set out as like a eSports venue for Splatoon championships. But actually, it might be for like the Animal Crossing New Horizons eSports championship. <laughs> whatever that might be. So we'll have to think of some uh, esports games that we can play in New Horizons. Oh, that'd be cool. Like what? CJ's fish Fishing Challenge? Bugs Bug 
challenge, Pascal's deep sea diving. I mean, we could have it as like your race. That could oh, yeah. be an Animal Crossing no, eSport. Yeah. Or Extreme Hide and Seek. I don't know what Extreme Hide and Seek was as, but yeah, Extreme Hide and Seek. Definitely. Anything. Extreme We've had seek. plenty of games. That's that's been the one of my favourite things I think this year in the games. Although I love the game itself, but the the games that people have created or friends have created and then I've been a part of has been one of my favourite things to come out this game this year. Yeah, me too. Me too. Had some excellent games with sardines. Oh, sardines, yeah. Every time you remind these games, I'm like, oh, I'm going to need to do this, I'm going to need to do that, like, again soon, and then it never happens. I'm going to need to write it down, dedicate some time, yeah, have some games again. The thing I love about those games, like, they're really social and you get to hang out with everyone, that's really cool. You get to really, like, explore people's islands in a way that you wouldn't normally when you're just sort of hanging out. Or going yep. around for a trade or going around for a, a KK show or something. You know, by like looking for people or doing a treasure hunt, doing hide and seek, you get to go in all the little nooks and crannies and find all the secrets. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, I think that's about me for this week. What about you, Luke? Have you got any other gossip you want to share with me and us? No, I think I've... Yeah, no, I think... I think that's about it for me this week as well. It's been fun catching up though. Yeah, thanks for visiting. You've been my only visitor this week, but it's been great. Thanks everyone for listening. As always, you can support us on Patreon, catch us on social media, the usual. But also, as Luke said earlier, I've got our Discord if you'd love to join us mm. on there. Yeah, it's lovely. Come and say hello. Bye. Bye.